CBS 46 News presents Public Affairs on Peach. Long before Atlanta became a city, the South Fork of Peachtree Creek was an integral part of the lives of people along its banks. And today, the South Fork Conservancy has a vision to restore and reconnect communities by raising awareness, building trails, and forging strong community partnerships. Hey, good morning to you and welcome to Public Affairs on Peach. I'm your host, Adam Murphy. The South Fork Conservancy has an objective to connect people and places through a natural creek and trail experience. Joining me this morning on the program is Warner McConaughey, the vice chairman of the group, here to tell us about this project. Thank you so much for being on the program. Thank you for having me here today. So I want to know more about what you all do. Well, the South Fork uh, Conservancy is a nonprofit organization. And in a nutshell, we uh, link green spaces, we clear uh, invasives, and we are building trails along the tributaries of the Peachtree Creek, which ultimately goes into uh, the uh, Chattahoochee River. And, you know, I remember about 20 years ago, the city of Atlanta bought a little uh, house that had been abandoned and created a park and spent a few hundred thousand dollars. And you kind of wonder, you know, what's the value of that? And green space is a great thing. Sure. But we've realized that if you could have several of those, because there was another lot around the corner and there's a little stream behind it, and you could sort of begin to link them, that it would be of a lot more value. And so that's what we're doing is kind of realizing that if we could bring communities together, people together, and, and go out in our backyards and start, you know, looking at this wonderful creek that's hidden back there, and, and uh, we can link a whole bunch of uh, the, the people in the communities together. So. Yeah, and you know, it's my perception that it seems like there's been a real concerted effort in the community to find green space mm -hmm. and restore, you know, what's right there, you know, the natural beauty that we have, be it with green space or creeks, whatever. So it's great that you all, and I presume you're a 501c3. Yes. Which you said you're a nonprofit, and one of the things that I understand uh, that you guys are involved in is the North and South confluence. Can you explain what that is? Well, a confluence is a funny word that people don't really know, but that's <laughs> just where two things come together. So the confluence, it's actually going to become a park, the confluence park, but it's where the North Fork of the Peachtree Creek joins okay. the South Fork of the Peachtree Creek, and then flows on downstream. But um, it's right under uh, we're 485, 75. All kinds of roads are there. It's a very interesting area, very urban. Um, but you know, a lot of what our, our trail system is going to be about is right there. It's it's an urban area, and that's sort of what it might require. But there are other areas that are pristine, forests, interesting, uh, you know, woods. Uh, wow! Just to really, uh, I mean, it's it's amazing. This is in the city of Atlanta. Yeah, it's a beautiful gym right here in the city of Atlanta. Right, and you know, I grew up. We would get in the car and drive to the mountains, or drive up to Kennesaw, and it's like, you know, why do we need to get in a car and go somewhere? Why don't we walk out our back door? And you know, instead of getting in the car and going to the Y, go out the back door, take a walk, run, and it's it's a, an incredible opportunity that is hidden right behind our houses. And who said Atlanta is landlocked? I'm seeing beautiful stream there, water, um, a trail. I mean, this is great for us right here in the heart of the city. Well, I also feel like you know one thing that I've had a problem with is it seems like we're so polarized now, and that you know whether it's religion, politics, mm -hmm. um, you know the economic situation. Um, and so this is one thing that is really exciting because it, it joins so many people together. And you know, there are, are older people bird watching. There's kids in Morningside Elementary School that are planting chestnut trees along our trail to, to uh, restore the, the blight infested chestnut trees. And then you've got uh, people are interested in, in getting out and being fit, getting out in the woods. Uh, there's a group of people, archaeologists, who have found all kinds of incredible things along the trail. Wow. So it brings, it brings everybody together of all ages and um, it's just a really interesting, fun thing to, to be involved with. And it's beautiful. Here are some images you get to look at right now. And this is Peachtree Creek, is that right, where we were looking at? Uh, yes. It's okay. A, and, you know, you won't believe the, the amount of, I mean, here you are right underneath the freeway at times. Yeah. And yet there's, there's, you know, incredible, there's a, about a five-foot heron that lives there. We've seen deer. There's actually a deer crossing sign now on Lenox wow. Road. Wow. It's sort of like they've, they've, the deer know that the trail's there as well. I presume you guys were able to restore the community like this and its natural beauty um, through donations as a nonprofit by going to southworkconservancy.org. Um, what other avenues do you have to go out and restore this beauty? 
Uh, have you received any kind of grant or anything like that? Well, that's this, the five-star grant that we did uh, just receive that we're really excited about. And even though we're trying to get millions of dollars to do this, because it's quite an ambitious thing, it's become 31 miles of trails. Wow. So 31 miles of trails in our city within 285 is, is amazing. Um, and so, you know, even though a grant, maybe you, you receive this particular grant is, a, is about a $30,000 grant, but when you partner with other people and, it, and collectively it becomes about a $100,000 grant, and you know, even though that's not enough money to, to build a whole trail system, but it's amazing how many people it brings in, gets people aware of it. And it's, um, it's a great um, partner building. What is the greatest need right <coughs> now of the South Fork Conservancy? Um, donations, volunteers, things like that? Uh, certainly, I mean, there's, it, it's, it's everything. You know, like one friend said, you know, she grew up in London and she remembered a park horse they had. And so, you know, she's like, I'd love to build something like that someday along the trail. Um, you know, it's, everybody comes at it from different angles. Uh, if you're an attorney that knows about uh, people, you say, you know, you've got half your property is overgrown with kudzu and you're not using it. What if you donated that to some kind of conservation easement or donated to the city and created a park? Could you get tax benefits mm -hmm. for that? Um, you know, you've got all kinds of people who are interested in just, uh, you know, putting in trails, chainsawing, you know, whatever it is. So it's amazing how you can donate. If you got a lot of money, we'd love a check too. That obviously, you know, we can Sure. We can do that. And so basically your organization wants to turn this area into like an urban wildlife refuge. And you're doing a lot of cleanup along the trail right now. Kudzu cleanup and yes. so forth. And, and this uh, particular grant is great because it helps bring in a lot of underprivileged people. It brings in the neighbors there. We've had, um, you know, almost all the neighbors pull together in, uh, in that area and are, are backing us on it. Warner McConaughey, thank you so much. This is great what you're doing for the city of Atlanta and those that didn't even realize we have water. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's beautiful. Get out there and enjoy it. And make sure that you also reach out to the South Fork Conservancy org and that's they can find more information there hey we're not done yet we have a lot more coming up have you checked out the amphibian program at the atlanta botanical garden well guess what we have a live demonstration coming up this is something you want to stick around for right after the break